And I was like, guys, you messed up my teeth. I was really freaking out. I'm done, I'm done straightening my teeth at home with Candid. Look at these chompers, they're beautiful. The bottom teeth, they're all straightened out now. All of my teeth were kind of like turned in and they straightened them all out. I am so happy. I just wanted to go over a review of how the whole process went, what I was surprised about, what I would warn you about, and my little tips and tricks. Keep watching and you can make the decision if this is the right program for you to fix your teeth. I was really shocked at how fast and easy the whole process went. It was about five months to straighten my teeth. Like crazy, I didn't have to go anywhere. Everything was just sent to me. They give you these like cheek spreaders and you take pictures and send them in and an orthodontist reviews them and approves you to move on to the next step or that you have to wear that set of aligners for another four days and resend another set of images. I was worried because I was a big snacker and it is really annoying to take the aligners in and out, especially the first few days of each set. They're like sensitive, they're really snug to pop in and out. So it really got me away from all the snacking because it was just a pain in the butt. A couple of times I had problems with the fit or I was just worried about the progress and then I could chat with a representative who went back and forth between me, kind of like a third wheel between me and the orthodontist was a little bit weird and I wasn't crazy about how that went. I would have rather chatted directly with the orthodontist, have a FaceTime or something, but this is part of what makes it so cheap is that everything is virtual. So you're gonna hit these kind of walls with some things being a little bit frustrating, but overall it wasn't a big deal. For example, when it was cutting into my gum, I was really concerned. Every time I took them out, my gum was like indented for a few hours and I was like, I was really nervous. We went back and forth. I sent updated images and stuff and finally the result was you can just cut them. <laughs> and I was like, <gasps> I was terrified to cut my aligners because I was like, what if I cut it too far and it doesn't work or it breaks? I finally got the courage and this was my last set of aligners actually, which end up being your retainer for a while until you get your final retainer, which I just got. I'm gonna open it with you. But anyway, back to the story. It took me a while to build up the courage to cut the aligner, but I finally did. And I just sliced off enough so that it wasn't going up into the gum and it was just barely right at the edge of the teeth, between the teeth and the gum. So it wasn't bothering me anymore. And uh, it was super easy. I just used regular scissors and I just like cut it off and uh, nothing got damaged and they still work. Another problem I had very early on, I wanna say it was the first or second set of aligners, it was cutting into my tongue. I did some Googling and I found these. I remember using these little wax thingies back when I had braces as a teenager uh, when it was like bothering your lips and stuff but I just did this for a couple of days. I used these on the problem spots that were cutting the back of my tongue. You see they're pre-cut. You just use one at a time and you kind of like ball it up or you know squish it together to get it nice and warm and then you can mold it and then stick it on the edge of your clear aligners, whatever's bothering you, and they stay on really nice. They even like would wedge onto my aligner when I take out the aligner, it's still there. So um, they're so helpful, and uh, I really recommend these. If you have braces or clear aligners, these are a must just to have, just in case, because you don't wanna to get to the point where it's like an open wound in there. If you're starting to get irritation, that's when you need to start using these. It allowed my tongue to heal, and then I never had a problem again. I kept these the whole time, but I only had to use it on that one set of aligners. It was bizarre. That's just another heads up. If you do have a problem with it cutting into your tongue, your cheeks, or your lips, it can happen, and they say you can file the aligner, but I think in this case, it wasn't necessarily the aligner that was the problem, it was just so new and everything was so sensitive and I think it got irritated and then it just got worse and worse, worse until I used these then it healed and it was fine. I started in March and my last set of aligners was the end of August and then after two weeks I was approved that I was done. These are my aligners. I've been using these for like three months now. I brushed them and then I put them in. And they're just going so nice. And you can't even really tell that I have them on. You can't really see them. You can't really hear them. I usually put these in right before I go to bed. And then I take them out usually after I drop the kids off at the bus stop. And then I take them out for the day. That's how I pop them out. Boom. 
so easy. So I kept those aligners for a long time. Now we're three months later. I've been wearing that last set of aligners this whole time. And uh, like I said, I had a cut to fix it. It was cutting into my gum. At the end, you're used to wearing your aligners 22 hours a day. And then you finish your last set and they're like, you're good. And then they send you this program of how to kind of wean yourself down to nighttime only. And it's very gradual. But what was happening with me when I would take them out, my front teeth and my canines were hitting and my back molars were not connected. And I was like, guys, you messed up my teeth. I was really freaking out. I emailed the rep and then they connected me to the orthodontist and he was like, you need to jump to wearing them eight hours a night. So I jumped ahead to the eight, 10 hours a night. And within a week or two, my bite had adjusted and it's been there ever since, like the perfect bite. It is bizarre. I don't know how all this works. <laughs> I don't know. It blew my mind. I was for sure I was gonna have to leave a terrible review and say that they ruined my teeth and I had to spend thousands to get them fixed again, but no, they're perfect. As your teeth move, things feel weird. Throughout the process, when you take them out and you're eating and I'm like, things don't feel right, but it's just part of the process. But if you really feel nervous, definitely check in with the orthodontist. But then when you finish, they might feel really wrong and it might be something that your teeth are going to gradually adjust as you move to that nighttime only wear. That was the case for myself anyway. You need to be in touch with the team and you need to be getting regular exams and cleanings at your dentist. Let them know that you're doing aligners because they'll be watching out for your gums receding or any kind of issues that can happen. And also when you're sending in your regular scans to the candid team, they should be watching out for that as well. And then of course, you know, you want to brush twice a day, you want to floss every day. Day, you want to be really really careful and I will say I was bad about this stuff before candid I got into such a good routine because I didn't want to wreck my teeth I've never flossed daily in my life until this so I'm taking really good care of my teeth because ee, look how pretty they are now Ugh. real quickly I want to unbox my last box from them this is the final retainers if you ever lose them or damage them you can order them again it came with a case Teeth whitening, that's fun. Here's the instructions for using the whitening with your aligners. My retainers, which look exactly like your aligners. So now I'll have two sets, I guess. One is a backup. And then again, just like with your aligners, they give you the chewies and this one, which I never, <laughs> I never used this. They recommend using this to get your aligners in and out, but I never used it. I always just use my hands, pop them out from the molars. That's the trick. The chewies you definitely got to use. They help your teeth to move quicker, apparently. I used them um, basically every time I put my aligners back in after a meal or snack, I used these for like five minutes because more than five minutes made me start to gag really weird. I had some really weird reaction to the chewies, but they are basically these little rubber tubes and you just like mm, chew on them and they help the aligner to get seated properly. And they're really necessary the first few days of each new set because they're really hard to get on there. But uh, after that, they just help the muscles and the teeth to move. Apparently they're very important for the treatment. So make sure that you use them. Your teeth will move if you don't wear your retainers at night. I had braces as a teenager and then I didn't wear my retainers and then it got all wonky again. Don't do that. Make sure that you're wearing them because your teeth will move and all of this will have been for naught. I am so, so happy with the results. I love it. I highly recommend Candid. It was quick, it was easy, and I think you will love it. I'll leave my affiliate link below in the video description if you wanna check out Candid. Love Candid. Love you guys. Thank you so much for working with me on this project. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Bye.